What does the ESP warning light mean? This warning light will usually look like the image of a car swerving. ESP stands for Electronic Stability Program and is designed to improve car stability when driving on problematic surfaces. This light may turn on when driving in adverse conditions. If the warning light is flashing, this means the ESP traction control is working and you will feel more grip within your wheels. How will it warn you if something is wrong with the ESP? Whilst the ESP light will usually illuminate when the system is being put into use under extreme driving conditions, it can also come on when it feels there is a fault with the system too. This is normally indicated by the light being illuminated all the time or flashing on and off instead. First thing to check is that you haven't accidentally pressed the ESP switch that turns the function on and off. This is an easy mistake to make and can avoid an unnecessary trip to the garage if you can just turn the function back on. The only time you shouldn't need ESP to be functioning is if you are racing on a closed circuit and not on a public roadway. So what is the issue with your car? If the issue is not that you have turned the ESP system off, then the continuous or blinking light may indicate a minor or major issue with the vehicle. However, this may not be obvious from the outset, so will need to be checked over by a mechanic just in case. The most common issues arising from your ESP light coming on include the following. Brake light switch. ABS wheel sensor. Low battery voltage. ABS module. Or steering angle sensor. Is it safe to drive with ESP light on? Although different car manufacturers use terminologies such as dynamic stability control, active skid control and vehicle stability control, they all function in very much the same manner. If your vehicle's ESP warning light stays on, it means that an important electronic driving aid no longer functions. What to do if you see this ESP light? It is extremely dangerous to drive a car while the ESP traction control warning light is visible on the dashboard, regardless of whether you expect to drive on unstable surfaces or not. Where is the ESP sensor located? It is located in the engine compartment. The control unit takes over the electrical and electronic tasks as well as all control functions of the system. Does ESP affect acceleration? Technically, ESP has no effect on acceleration. That's actually the ASR stepping in, also controlled by the ESP button. How do I know if ESP is on in my car? Drivers will be able to see when the ESP system engages due to the light coming on the dashboard. If you have to swerve a car moving over on the motorway or turn rapidly for any reason, the ESP system will kick in to compensate for the driver. How important is ESP in a car? The electronic stability program supports the driver in nearly all critical driving situations. It comprises the functions of the anti-lock braking system and the traction control system, but can do considerably more. It detects vehicle skidding movements and actively counteracts them. What happens when ESP is off? That means you will either skid off the road or will go and crash into obstacle that you are intending to dodge. These are picture perfect scenario where the ESP will get in to save your life. Does turning ESP off save fuel? Unless you do approximately 100% of your driving with the car so out of shape the ESP is functioning, turning it off will have no effect. Should I turn off ESP in snow? If you've got ESP, the stability control element will help you in a slide. But traction control can sometimes kill power too much and make it hard to get moving in heavy snow. Most cars will allow you to turn off the traction element of the stability control.